hello and welcome to my channel so um, in this video we are going to take one topic from USMLE first aid book and we will change this topic so that it's um, easy for us to memorize the factual information so before I begin I want to put this out there that I won't be explaining anything in this video it is simply an aid for memorization so I hope that it's helpful and here we go. So for today's topic, it is iron uh, poisoning, acute and chronic. Okay, so acute iron poisoning has high mortality rate and accidental ingestion by children. High mortality rate, accidental ingestion by children. High mortality rate, accidental ingestion by children. Why accidental ingestion? Because the tablets can look like candies. So accidental ingestion. Now increase in lactate decrease in mitochondria increase in the lactate decrease in mitochondria increase in the lactate decrease in mitochondria due to formation of free radicals and peroxidation of membrane lipid mitochondria is going to help with oxidative phosphorylation so if mitochondria decreases obviously anaerobic respiration takes place which causes the buildup of lactate now symptoms will be abdominal pain vomiting gi bleeding abdominal pain vomiting gi bleeding also, anion gap metabolic acidosis and multi-organ failure. Anion gap metabolic acidosis and multi-organ failure. It leads to scarring with GI obstruction. Scarring with GI obstruction. Scarring with GI obstruction. On an X-ray, radio-opaque pill is seen. On an X-ray, radio-opaque pill. X-ray, radio-opaque pill. Treatment, chelation and gastric lavage. Chelation and gastric lavage for acute iron poisoning treatment chelation and gastric lavage for chronic iron poisoning seen with either primary hereditary hemochromatosis or secondary to chronic blood transfusion for sickle cell anemia and thalassemia again primary hemochromatosis which is hereditary or secondary to chronic blood transfusion from sickle cell anemia and thalassemias symptoms are arthropathy cirrhosis cardiomyopathy bronze diabetes and hypogonadism Again, arthropathy, cirrhosis, cardiomyopathy, bronze diabetes, and hypogonadism. Repeat after me. Arthropathy, cirrhosis, cardiomyopathy, bronze diabetes, and hypogonadism. Chronic iron poisoning treatment is phlebotomy. For patients without anemia, phlebotomy, phlebotomy, or chelation. Phlebotomy or chelation. What are the symptoms of acute iron poisoning? Abdominal pain, vomiting, GI bleeding, anion gap metabolic acidosis, multi organ failure, scarring with GI obstruction. Scarring with GI obstruction. Again, abdominal pain, vomiting, GI bleeding, anion gap metabolic acidosis, and scarring with GI obstruction. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.